Hi, ZMaps allows you to create geographical maps from a list of addresses. For example, you can visualize your customer list, office locations, lists of properties, lists of service centers, or places you have visited. You do not have to sign up to create a map with ZMaps, but it is advisable that you do so, so that you can come back to ZMaps anytime, sign in, and have full access to all your maps, even on a smartphone while you're on the road. In this demonstration, we will map our list from an Excel spreadsheet of restaurants in Austin, Texas. Our spreadsheet has three location columns, street address, city, and state. In addition to the location information, we have a name column that will be the title for our entries. When mapping your data, you can be specific to the street level or remain at the city or postal code level. You can have as many columns as you'd like. The columns that don't get used for name or location will be added as additional fields or attributes of your pins. One special column is the category column that will be used to color the map entries and assign a legend to the map. To start the process, we select Map My Spreadsheet, we select our spreadsheet, and hit Submit. If you've already created a map, you can upload a spreadsheet by going to the Additions menu, select Add, Upload, multiple markers, and then selecting Upload Spreadsheet. ZMaps looks at the column headers and assigns columns to the appropriate map fields. We review the column assignment and correct as necessary. The Basic Information tab contains the columns that will be used for the title and location of your markers. The Advanced tab is for latitude and longitude. If your spreadsheet already has latitude and longitude values, make sure those columns are recognized in this tab. The Media tab can be used if you want to attach photos or videos to your markers. If there are more columns in your spreadsheet than what you'd like to map, we can use the Ignore tab to select the columns that you'd like to not show in the map. We double check the number of entries match with the rows in our spreadsheet list, check for the default marker color and default country, and hit Submit. ZMaps will now country the data and map the locations of our entries. The upload progress will be displayed, and you will know if there are any errors in the upload. If there are errors, please check your email to find the spreadsheet rows that could not be mapped. Looks like our upload is complete. Spreadsheet uploads is only one of the many features that ZMaps provides to quickly make interactive maps. Please check out our other videos to explore more features. Thank you for learning about ZMaps.